Hello my friends, this is Alien Contactee Linol Anderson here with you guys with a brand new YouTube bit shoot video. In today's video, we're talking about the arrival of Planet X, that's Nibiru. It's here my friends. And how this has triggered a worldwide ascension process for millions of people. Worldwide, my friends, it's happening. It's underway right now. We got some intense energies rolling in right now. Uh, so if you're having a rough day, that's why. And we're gonna get over everything that's happening, okay? So before you do, just gonna encourage everybody to hit that subscribe button. As I say, subscribe to survive. I cover it all from Nibiru, interdimensional beings, reptilians, aliens, whatever you wanna call them, occult, hidden knowledge, NWO, what's going on in the world, how it all ties together. So subscribe for more of that and hit that like button. Helps the whole line out so much with the YouTube al algorithms. Okay, my friends? Let's just get right into it. So, yeah, my friends. Uh, the, the energies today are just absolutely intense out of this world. And if you're sensitive to energy and if you're go one of these chosen ones who are going through the ascension process, uh, then you'll know what I'm talking about because you'll feel it. Uh, so far in the past 24 hours, my friends, we've had 21 solar flares from the sun, okay? 21 solar flares. Six of those being M-class solar flares. That's the second largest kind. It's huge. And as of right now, there's a 30% chance we might even experience an X-class in the coming hours, okay? Not for sure, 30% chance. Uh, but 15 of those were C-class solar flares. It's one after the other. Meanwhile, the Schumann Residence Chart, as I make this video, is at a power 60, which is off the charts, okay? And the Schumann Residence is like the heartbeat of the world, okay? The frequencies coming in. So what is causing all these frequencies and, and this intense energy and all these solar flares? Well, my friends... It's the return of Nibiru. Plus, there's earthquakes happening. There was just a seven point something earthquake somewhere. Uh, earthquakes have been happening lots recently. Well, we knew that was going to happen, right? As Nibiru gets closer. And with this being said, you know, it's not all doom and gloom. Uh, sure, it's, it's a big situation. You know, I, I encourage everybody to check out my Nibiru playlist. Uh, That's right, I'll leave the link down below and at the end of the video, and I explain more in depth everything that's happening with that. But we're not getting into that specifically today. What we're getting into is the ascension process that's coming along with it, my friends. That's right, because it's bringing, it's sending all these solar flares, right? And it's sending all this energy towards us. And uh, it's causing lots of ascension symptoms for people, okay? And it's causing people to go through these uh, kundalini awakenings and stuff. And for this select majority, which there's millions of us, who are going through this ascension awakening, uh, there's some certain signs and symptoms that you'll know that you're going through it. And I'm going to be sharing with you guys what happened to me today and how far I've come on my journey and how you can know if you're going through this ascension process from these new energies coming in that's all connected to the return of Nibiru, the Phoenix, all of that, okay? So I actually wanted to show you guys a picture of myself a little over a year ago. And it's kind of embarrassing, but I want to show you what I looked like before I started going through this ascension process, okay? Take a look. I know, not looking good, right? Not looking good at all. I was fat, overweight, and I was just lost at that point, my friends. Didn't know what I was doing. And that was just a little bit over a year ago. I was in a dark place, okay? And now take a look at me today. You can see me right here, but take a look at this photo, and you can see better without the shirt on. That's right, my friends. So that is what the ascension looks like, okay? 
Now the photo you're looking at, the first one, was me before my Kundalini uh, got reactivated. Because it got, it got activated back in 2018 originally, but uh, I wasn't ready for it yet and it kind of sent me crazy, sent me bonkers and I didn't go along with it and I ended up having to go on medications to uh, calm the anxiety, right? Because the anxiety was so bad I didn't know what was happening, I had to go on sleeping medication because I couldn't sleep. And that ended up closing my third eye, right? And uh, the kundalini kind of died off for me. It was still there, but the medications kind of, you know, stopped the process. And then you could see that's where I ended up being about a year, a couple months before that, okay? A year and two, three months is when that photo, first photo was taken. But I felt a need that I had to get myself healthy and get off all that poisonous big pharma crap. You see, everything that's in this system, okay, uh, is designed to close your third eye. Whether it's the food you're eating, the water you're drinking, okay, medications that they're putting you on, uh, alcohol. All that is designed by the powers that be to close the third eye. So what happened to me is I got so sick of having all that crap and all that poison in my body. So I said, okay, that's it. I gotta get off this anxiety medication. I gotta get off the sleeping pills. So that's what I did. And my goodness, the withdrawals were so bad from getting off that last sleeping medication that I was on, my friends poison it's pure poison but it made me so sick it forced me to get healthy it forced me to uh, eat healthy start exercising and while doing this I in getting off all that crap I had this urge to become more spiritual while the solar flares are happening then too so it was affecting me for sure and then my friends shortly after getting off that sleeping crap that I was on you know, what I did, people want to know, how did I lose the weight? My friends, I lost 50 to 60 pounds, okay? Compared to where I was a little over a year ago. 60 pounds, all right? So how did I lose it? I went on the keto diet for a few months. I started fasting, okay? Keto plus fasting plus exercise. I've gone to the gym every day almost about five times a week, I should say. In the beginning, it was every day, but five times a week now, I go to the gym, okay? And within a few months of getting off that uh, medication trap, kundalini released. That's right, full-blown kundalini awakening from the sun, from these solar flares, from these new energies coming in, from the return of this Nibiru, right? And what it's doing is it's activating our DNA, okay? We're going through a DNA activation, right? Okay, that's what all these energies is, is, is doing. And it's, it's to ultimately, for those who put the work in and work with these energies, it's so we could ascend and be spared from the return of Nibiru and go to that 5D uh, new timeline. So that's what I did, my friends. That's how I lost the weight. Keto diet, that's my secret. The keto, fasting, and gym went on a bunch of supplements and you know that kundalini being released was the best thing that's ever happened to me because that forced me as well to be healthy you see in the new 5d earth that we're going to or not earth i shouldn't say earth we're not going to earth that's enki's new simulation we're not going to earth we're going to the original 5d time matrix okay my friends but uh to go there, to this 5D realm, you can't have any of that old 3D Earth baggage, okay? You can't be addicted to drugs, you can't be addicted to all these medications, you can't be stuck in low vibrational uh, ways, okay? You just can't. You have to, to ascend, you yourself have to get healthy. You have to ascend, okay? In your personal life, you have to do that. And if you don't, you're going to get left behind, stuck on this 3D timeline where Nibiru is ultimately going to do this big, great matrix redo. And you're going to be stuck in this 3D reincarnation loop, time loop. So if you want to go to the new place, 
you got to ascend, and that's what ascension is. So if that's you right now, my friends, if you find that in your life you've been being called to give up your addictions, heal all your past traumas, and it's like you're being forced to do it because, you know, at the end of the day, my friends, we are being forced to do it. I've been being forced to do it. I can no longer reside in these no lower vibrational ways. I could no longer sit there being addicted to alcohol or drugs or anything. I couldn't do it anymore. My body wouldn't let me because I'm being, like I said, we're chosen ones. Whether we like it or not, we're going to this new realm. When it comes to negative thought patterns, negative thought loops and stuff like that, okay? When it comes to all that, because a lot of us are stuck in these negative, repetitive thoughts due to the ego, right? These new energies are coming in. It's making it impossible for us to be stuck in those thought loops. That's why we're on a healing journey. And that's why we have so many ascension symptoms that are happening when these energies come in, like a high energy day like this. Uh, we're doing a lot of purging, right? And we have a lot of anxiety. A lot of things are coming up, but they're coming up to the surface to be healed. We're purging it all. You see, my friends, we're purging it all out of us. And if you try, if you resist what's happening, if you resist, my friends, well, then it's going to be hell on earth. I get pressure in my head. If I start obsessing about something or whatever, holding on to those old uh, thought patterns. I get head pressure. I feel horrible. It's like, geez, I can't. I, I got to let it go. You got to surrender. That's what this is about. To get to that new place, you got to surrender. Surrender with these energies coming in and just go with the flow, my friends. That's what you got to do. Because if you don't, it's going to be a very horrible experience with tons of ascension symptoms and you're just not going to feel good and it's going to continue to happen like that so if you're suffering right now with anxiety crazy thoughts and and just uh horrible symptoms ascension symptoms it's going to continue until you're finally able to surrender and let it all go and heal yourself and once you can finally do that then it'll no longer be negative feelings you're feeling but rather feelings of bliss you're going to be riding the bliss wave to the 5D realms, okay, my friends? But it's all happening, it's all connected to that Nibiru, my friends, coming in. And we're in the middle of a galactic cosmic war and we got light forces beaming light frequencies down at us too. So if you are going through this, consider yourself lucky, you're a chosen one, my friends. Who chose you? You did, you chose to came here, you're a volunteer, star seed, right, light worker. If you're not feeling anything yet from you're not feeling any of these energies, my friends, well, uh, that's pos probably because maybe you're still living an unhealthy lifestyle. Maybe you're still eating the fast food and the processed food and all the junk. Maybe you're drinking alcohol on different medications. And this isn't medical advice. I'm not a doctor. I'm not recommending anything. But uh, yes, it's a fact that medications will close the third eye and stop the ascension process. So maybe something to think about natural alternatives and stuff like that. That's what I did. Not medical advice, though. Uh, recreational drugs. Uh, it could be uh, any number of things why you're not having these ascension, uh, going through the ascension process yet. But it's usually because you're not, you haven't detoxed yourself and you have their poison inside of you. So it's very important right now that you're a detox machine, my friends. Because not only do we need to detox so we can start going through the ascension and having an open third eye and all that, but also because they're poisoning us on every aspect. And now they're even talking about putting that thing that they want you to get in the food. And there's already evidence to suggest that it's in the food supply already. So they're poisoning us to eliminate us, to... Uh, yeah, eliminate and reduce the world's population. It's happening. So if you want to survive in these days, you got to detox every single stinking day. And I recommend to clean out your liver. Okay, and that's why I promote this Oelli's liver detox so much, my friends. Everything that we detox, detoxes through the liver. Okay, that's what detoxes us, right? And guess what? Everything from GMOs to the things they want you to get, to the air we breathe, to the water we're drinking, even fluoride and all that, 
It all attacks the liver. Alcohol, cigarettes, all attacks the liver. Okay, so you gotta detox the liver so you can detox. A Wellies liver detox, non-GMO, plant-based, organic, uh, potent, natural supplement. And it'll clean you right out. And then, yes, of course, once you detox, you'll start to, you'll be more, your tempo will be more clean. And that's when you'll probably start going through the ascension process. That's what's happen happened to me. Once I got off all that medications and all that crap, started eating healthy, started detoxing, that's when my kundalini released. Okay? So there's no reason it shouldn't happen for you. Uh, another thing I recommend, which I'm waiting in the mail, it's coming uh, any day now. And that's Oelli's Colon Cleanse. That's right, my friends. Clean out your liver, clean out your colon, because a lot of toxins get uh, stuck in the colon as well, right? So clean out those two vital areas of your body, the liver, the colon, and that'll clean you out right now too. So I recommend getting that as well. And uh, I'm going to be getting mine probably next week. And then I'm going to take it, and then I'm going to review it, and I'm going to let you guys know how it goes. But I know it's great, because I've read the reviews already. I've had uh, followers get the colon cleanse, so I already know it works, and it's fantastic. So if that's something you've been thinking about doing, you got to do it. we got parasites inside of us. So definitely look into the colon cleanse. And I just wanted to give somebody a, a shout-out as well. Uh, this channel has a great sponsor and a great follower, a great friend of mine for many years, and that's Andre Fosmark. It was his birthday last week. Happy birthday, Andre. And you know what? Andre is another person I could use as an example who's gone through this ascension process. I've known Andre many years now. Many, many years. We go way back, okay? And he's been supporting this channel and being a good friend of mine for a long time. And I've seen him come a long way. And this is just, he's just one example of many, of so many people around the world who, you know, were at a certain level, always awakened, right? A lot of us going through this have been awake to what's going on in the world for a long time, like me, since 2010, 2011, since I was 18 years old, I'm 31 now. Okay, Andre's another guy who's been awake many years. But it's cool to see how the progression goes from being awake at a base level to more, 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 and just getting more spiritually awake and more in touch with your gifts and abilities, getting more healthy and doing all the right things. And I just want to say, Andre, you've done a fantastic job. You're one of the people who I've known for a long time who I've seen go through this process. So big shout out to Andre. We love you, Andre. And big shout out to all you who are watching too, because I know a lot of you who are watching right now who've been watching me for many years as well. And I know you guys have made lots of progress too. I've talked to you guys lots in the inbox, in the comment sections. And I've seen a lot of people, you know, if you're on my Facebook, I've seen a lot of people uh, throughout the years who I've known for a long time and now they're going through this ascension journey too. What the heck is happening to me, Lionel? They say, they message me, what's going on? This is happening, that's happening. I say to them, congratulations. You are one of the ones who are going to make it out of here. But uh, our bodies are going through some profound changes. Like I said, uh, the ascension, it's activating this dormant DNA within us. And in the coming years, your body is going to go through some mass massive changes. You are going to change. Okay? And it might be a little frightening going through this. And I'm going to be doing a video about some of these massive changes. And when I say massive, I literally mean massive. Okay, what do I mean by that? Well, video coming might not be for another two weeks here, but I'm going to Externstein, Germany. Not this weekend. I'm going to Prague this weekend, but uh, next weekend I'm going to Exercise Germany, and I'm going to be doing a very special video at this giant monolith, and I'm going to be revealing to you guys one of these massive changes that are going to be happening to you. So make sure you subscribe because you don't want to miss this special video presentation. And uh, hit the like button. And hey, 
You can join me down there at Patreon as well, my friends. Uh, my Ascend to 5D class, I really recommend, or I'm helping. If you're really suffering with these ascension symptoms, or you're trying to ascend and all this stuff, trying to go through it, but you're having difficulties, well, my Ascend to 5D class is just for that. And I've already got, like, what, 20 videos there. I keep uploading videos every week. You got the health class as well. If you want more health advice, like how I got in such good shape, uh, check out the health class. And with the health class, you get access to the Ascent 5D class too. Or you get the occult class, and you have access to all the videos on there, and you learn occult hidden knowledge. I could do Pleiadian channelings for you. We could work together. So the links are all down below. Of course, I'm on tour in Europe, so any support helps me so much. If you want to simply buy me a coffee to help me in my travels, uh, because I'm bringing lots of good videos for you guys, going to Prague, uh, going to have lots of videos for that. So all the links are down below. Any support means the world to old Lionel. And uh, yeah, my friends, uh, it's going to be real good here. Real good. Uh, just raise your vibrations. Uh, stay positive. Yes, there's a lot of bad stuff happening in the world, and yes, a lot of people probably won't make it to that new timeline, but if you're watching this still at this point, there's a good chance that you're going to make it because you care, and you're going to put in that work, and you're going to put in that effort, and yes, you are going to start going through these changes, but ultimately, it's going to transform who you are and return you to a much less dense and much higher version of yourself. And uh, you're going to go on a more positive timeline, let's just put it that way, okay? So Nibiru is coming, Nibiru is here, we should say. But along with that, the awakening ascension process is as well. Nothing to be in fear of, fear is our enemy. Be in that love vibration, open up the heart chakra. Alright my friends, we'll see you next video. I got a big one coming on Monday or Tuesday, okay? At live at the Berlin Wall, so... We'll see you then. Lionel, signing off.